What's up guys, Chris, Bee Boston Life Sweet Honey Farms. Been a little while since I've done a video, a couple weeks here. We've been really, really busy, bee season. Weather's actually got them kind of messed up, so it's on and off and on and off. But anyway, so I wanted to answer a question, and this is a question we get a lot, um, about swarms. Swarms of bees are everywhere right now. You'll see a big ball of bees, okay? That's a migration flight. That's going to be an old queen, new workers. They're going to be young. Most of the time, this is the least dangerous time of an Africanized honeybee's life. Now, you have swarms all over the place and all over the country during the spring, but in southern Arizona, this magical thing happens called the desert bloom, and they, basically everything blooms. The bees start packing in pollen, and they start sending out these migration flights. So the big question is, is I see this ball of bees, so I call people and they say, oh, the, don't worry about it, it'll just move on. Sure, it'll move on. Where's it going to move to, though? It could possibly move under your shed. It could move into your roof. It could move under your neighbor's house. That's not good. It causes friction when people think that you gave them your bees. Um, but anyway, so there's thousands, thousands of swarms going across southern Arizona. Our swarm traps are just getting loaded up. I went out and looked at them yesterday, and there were bunches of them full already around our commercial properties. And which is a good thing, we get to keep those bees, but when those bees move, they move somewhere. When they're sitting there and they send off scout bees, a lot of people will actually see bees around their house and will show up and they say, oh, I got bees going in and out. Well, it's actually scout bees. Those scout bees are being, you know, checking out your house because possibly somebody's leaving a swarm that they called and somebody said, oh, it'll move on. You might be the recipient of that. You don't want those bees. You don't want that problem. You especially don't want that problem if it moves into a spot where you can't see it. And then next thing you know, your AC guy finds it. That's not a good spot. So if a swarm is hanging out of a tree, you really shouldn't leave it. It could move into another place. It could move into somebody's house that may not pay attention as much. And it could be a detrimental thing because they are Africanized. Pretty much 100% of our feral colonies are. If it's wild... It may look nice, it may look, oh, save the bees, things like that. We get it. We save most of the swarms. If it's reachable, we'll take them and we'll, we'll put them in our boxes. Do we charge for that? Yeah, we do because they are, it is a removal. But will the swarm move on? Yes, it will. Question is, where will it go? So, but th that that's our biggest thing. You know, I mean, people always time, all the time asking us, you know, will the swarm move on? Yeah, it'll move on. But I don't like having to show up at that customer's house six months later and have to cut a big hole in their house because we had to remove a big hive of bees that had 100 pounds of honeycomb attached to it. And now they have a pheromone that's embedded into wood and everything else. We have to fight that. It might turn your house sweet. So if you have a swarm of bees, you can leave it. It's not a big deal, but it will move somewhere. But it might move into your own house. So it's up to you. You take the chance. But you guys have a good one. Take it easy.